So every house we've ever bought has been a refurbishment project, but this was by far and away the biggest challenge yet. When we bought the house, uh, it was a beauty salon and four bedsits. Uh, the only way to access the upstairs of the house was via a fire escape, and it was really in a terrible condition. We were very happy that we appointed IP to help us with this project. They're such lovely people to deal with. What we like about IP is that it's a family-run business. Jaris does all the figures, Jay manages the project for you. We had worked with them before, about 20 years ago, when we first moved up to Warwickshire from London. I think Jaris, Jaris was 19, I think, wasn't he, when we, uh, when we did our first project with them? So we had really had no hesitation um, in using them again because we'd already had a, a good experience of working with them on a big project. All the people they employ are fantastic at their trade. Um, we set them quite a few challenges. Poor Simon had to put in all the panelling and we decided to have a curved wall which he had to put panelling on, which was quite tricky. He did a fantastic job. We built an extension on the back of the house. I think one of the things that was definitely a challenge was supporting the structure. So we had to build a, a huge sort of steel mesh in the garden to support the extension. That was a big part of the project, was getting all the foundations right. One of the things that IP did particularly well was they enabled us to reuse quite a lot of the things from this house. So for example, some of the floorboards we took out from upstairs are used in the garden. The oak floor joists are also used in the garden. The parquet flooring that was in the entrance hall when we came in, that was all lifted up and cleaned and then IP relayed it into the downstairs loo. The stone copings outside where they had to be removed from the crumbling walls, we managed to reuse and upcycle those uh, into the garden as well. Jay can spot interesting things and interesting ways of using some of the architectural features that we had that maybe we wouldn't necessarily have spotted. So it's not just about you know, building walls and putting up plaster. You know, there, are, there are certainly some creative elements within the house that certainly Jay has put a mark on. So that was quite nice to think that we were keeping as much of the uh, original property in the newly renovated property. We're very grateful to them for helping us with this project. Like many of the houses that were put up after the Great Fire uh, of Warwick, it was thrown up obviously very, very quickly. Um, and so maybe it wasn't some of the best uh, craftsmanship uh, that Warwick has ever seen. But you know, IP managed to overcome all of those issues and ended up delivering to us what was a, a beauty salon and is now a beautiful home.